Hey, what's up? Usman here. Welcome to the first ever episode of WCCF Bytes. This is Technology with an Accent. We got wind of a very interesting rumor from Benchlife about the upcoming NVIDIA flagship, which is the so-called GTX 1080. Right off the bat, I should make it clear that we have absolutely zero idea what the card may end up being called and the, G the word, the, the nomenclature GTX 1080 is only a placeholder for the actual name. Now interestingly, the estimated arrival date for this particular card is in May and the GPU technology conference is happening in Silicon Valley on April 4th to 7th and NVIDIA CEO and co-founder Jensen Huang will be presenting there and the version of the rumor mill is that he will be demoing some demo units about of the GDX 1080 and the GDX 1070. Uh, both of which will be uh, will be featuring a GP104 Pascal core. The GP104 Pascal core is of course the successor to the GM204 Maxwell core found in the GDX 980 graphics card and it's based on 16nm FinFET technology from TSMC which is the first the first uh, FinFET chip from Nvidia after the 28nm generations which we have been enduring for so long and of course this is not the successor to the GDX 980 Ti graphics card which actually features a GM200 core. That will be the GP100 Pascal chip which will come sometime later this uh, year and it will feature HBM2. Now one of the more interesting things about this rumor is that it mentions that uh, the GP104 graphic card or the GDX 1080 will not be featuring HBM. It, in fact, it will be featuring 8 GB of GDDR5 or GDDR5X memory. Uh, the GDDR5X memory is actually a very uh, interesting choice for this graphic card, if true, because it will allow uh, it to evade any bandwidth issues while uh, staying within uh, an optimal limit of uh, efficiency, power efficiency. Uh, while not exactly HPM levels, GDDR5X is a pretty, pretty good alternative to using GDDR5. In fact, uh, we actually wrote about it sometime. Uh, so that about wraps up this particular update. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you would like continuous technology updates from WCCF Bytes or don't if you don't want to. Whatever floats your boat.